Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina, and today we are continuing on with Neon. Nope, Genesis. <laughs> I keep messing this up. Genesis uh, Noir. So I actually did look it up. I'll be completely honest. I looked up how to. One second. I looked up how to solve this. And did I do that wrong? Okay, apparently I did that wrong. It's this way. And that's the exact same one. One second. Did I mess this up? No, I'm, I got it right. I literally had to uh, look this up because I was trying quite a bit before. Like, I'm just like, I give up. I was right. I had it before. I just had to, um, I just had to like click it over. We need something. Oh, I got it right the first time. <laughs> it's like a come hither. Oh, we were doing like the evolution of everything and now we found that the saxophone? A tarnished saxophone. Its dingy body reflects little light. The trail has gone dark. The angler fish. Oh, we're going to be heading back. Okay, so now we're going to have to find another place to go. Maybe not. No, definitely. We'll definitely be finding another place to go. Because now that one's gone dark, but it looks like there's more. Yeah. Okay, so we have three. But now we have to turn them into... Here, just click this. A tarnished saxophone. It still sings, though the owner is gone. go. We're gonna have to look more over here. Okay. Now we just click. Leftovers from a dead Nova. A dead end. Mm. A searching light blazes, but Golden Boy is nowhere to be found. Interesting. Oh, sorry. Like, I just moved my knee and mm, not gonna, not gonna explain what just happened. As the pool of gravity claws together clouds of interstellar atoms, tremendous pressure builds and a fire ignite, ignited. 
The star is born in a halo of dust, its belly full of hydrogen, helium, and lithium. Inside, fusion digests this initial meal into progressively larger, heavier, and more complex elements. Growing larger and heavier with iron, the star finally collapses and bursts into a supernova, unleashing a wind of rare heavy elements in its dying breath. Have I mentioned I really like the description? It's giving people... This sounds weird. It's giving people a little bit of a science background without having to, like, sit down and, and read about, you know, science. Specifically, evolution and astrology. Great. I basically have to just keep clicking, don't I? Because if I hold... It doesn't, it doesn't continue spinning. I just have to keep clicking. Did we just make our star? Yeah, we did. Earth. Okay, but now, what am I aiming for? Time. What am I aiming for? Oh, can I? Ah, uh, no. I meant to know. I am apparently aiming for something. Just what's the question? Like. Am I trying to make them all align? Because that's not going to happen. I'm literally just holding down a button on my mouse right now. I don't know what it wants from me. Oh, okay. I'm like moving my mouse. Okay. It wanted me to make the sun turn into a supernova. It just took forever. Okay. So I'm assuming we're following the tracks. We're normally following something. So in this case, it seems to be the tracks. Hunt. Hunt. Okay. Now what's happening?
more tracks. There we go, more tracks, found them. Though I really wanna be able to click on the snake eventually. Oh my God. There we go, more tracks. Close to manure and berries. Sounds about right. Crossing the stream. Basically now we have to find the path again. We had a rabbit. Okay, I'm assuming we're straying from the path because it's getting darker. Look, we found a cave. Hmm. Look, we found someone. Primitive figure painted on a stretched skin. And she's drawing the deer. She jumped away. I'm not controlling him at this point. I'm assuming that's all there is. It's like I saw. There's something around here that I could... Okay. Oh. Second. Where was it? Like legit. Ah, got it. Femur rib missing vertebrae though. Like you like I can't see that. But again, that could be my contrast. I do keep my contrast quite low. Again, photosensitivity. I was actually talking with one of uh, my friends and she was like, would you ever um, do live streams? And I was like, yeah, but again, it'd have to be without um, 
without cameras because I film in the dark, so. And the last one. This is the woman from before. More deer markings. Uh, deer tracks, rather. Well, it's on the hunt, so obviously... Why can I only Okay. Hand, hand, hand. Hand. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I got it. That is one dead deer. Like literally the only thing I I can control is this guy. Literally you're just gonna sit there and watch decompose. The remains of a male creature born from the ashes of a dead star. Fatal sought after. Fatally sought after. Feminine hands wish to possess it. Time to return. We go back. I will say though, newer technology on hunting animals is way more humane than how we used to do it. Just saying. I know a lot of people out there are going to be like, but animal rights, because, you know, veganism is a thing. Heck, my, uh, one of my good friends, she's vegan, so. Unfinished mechanism assembling back hole. Golden touch is missing. An antler from a stag, once part of a star, it was pursued for its strange beauty. A neutron star that has stopped spinning, going through the motions, here you go. A familiar trail leads to a new variable. Hmm. I'm going to leave that there for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to go into this familiar trail and see what happens because, you know, that's interesting. But with that said, I want to thank y'all so much for watching. And I just hit my mic. I'm sorry. I want to thank y'all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.